welcome to Nibbling with the Neighbors. Come on in and have a bite. going to be helping out on nibbling with the neighbors. We will be making enchilada meatballs in the crock pot. For this recipe, you're going to need a quarter cup of panko or breadcrumbs. You're going to need a can of enchilada sauce, a quarter of an onion, an egg, a package of taco seasoning or two tablespoons of your own homemade taco seasoning, which I do have a recipe for that on my blog and a pound of meat. You can use turkey, you can use chicken. I am using ground beef. I am using 96% lean ground beef. So that will help keep this a low calorie, low carb meal. You're gonna add your quarter cup of panko to your meat. You're gonna add your taco seasoning. And then you're going to add your onion. I wanted to show you my, I love this tool. It's a chopper. And what I do is, I just cut my onion up just a little bit. Put it in here, and you just start hitting it. And it chops it up, and it doesn't make your eyes water as much. I do get a little bit, but not as much. And it gets it chopped up really nice and fine. Voila, and there's my chopped onion. We're going to add that to our meatball mixture here. Last but not least, an egg. You just want to just start mixing this up. Get that egg in there. Get those breadcrumbs mixed in. Get the onion mixed in so you don't have big bites of onion. You could do this with your hands, but I'll let you know the spices in the taco seasoning will dye your hands orange. So you have a few different ways you can like figure out how to separate these out into really good meatballs. You could either start cutting things in half and start making them and eyeing them, or there's a trick that I saw that was really cool. So what you'll need is a cookie sheet some saran wrap, and your meat. Throw your meat onto the cookie sheet. And flatten out into a square. So there's our square. So there's our square, right? So we are going to make 12 meatballs with this. So we need three sections by four sections. And there is our perfect meatball portion. So they're all gonna be the same size. So you're gonna take your crock pot. This is the bottom of my crock pot. And you're going to pour a little bit of the enchilada sauce on the bottom. And this will help the meatballs not stick. So just a little bit, just enough so they don't stick. And you're gonna start making your meatballs. And as you're making your meatballs, you're going to place them at the bottom of your crock pot. They can touch slightly, it's fine, they won't stick together. Now you got the first layer down, now we're going to pour a little bit of the enchilada sauce on top of these middle 
meatballs. But we still have some left in the can. And then we're going to start stacking our meatballs. So there's all our meatballs in there and now we're just going to pour the rest of this can of enchilada sauce on top. And you just want to make sure you get all the meat completely covered with the sauce. So here's our meatballs all ready to go to the crock pot and to start heating. It will take eight hours on low or four hours on high to cook these and then we will come back and take a look at them. It has been four hours and the meatballs are all ready and so you can serve them up. I like to make sure they get nice and saucy. And if you want to use up this sauce, you can actually make a soup after this. And it's great for either a second meal or you can freeze it for another meal. And the serving size on this is three meatballs and that's about 300 calories. And then to garnish this, what I like to do is I like to put about two tablespoons of cheese and that 300 calories includes the cheese. And you just put it on while it's still hot and it'll melt really nice. You can add a little bit of cilantro and I also like to serve it with some lime. For a side dish, I'm gonna do a Mexican blend of corn and bean salad or you can serve it with any kind of corn. You can serve it if, with rice if you want. Or I have a cilantro cauliflower rice if you're doing low carb. And also I like to serve it with a little bit of cabbage.